Updates on the preparation and processing of the 2020 Service Recognition Incentive S.R.I. for eligible permanent positions and the 2020 Gratuity Pay GP, for the contract of service and job orders from Under Secretary Annalyn Sevilla. She posted on her Facebook account, Dear Teaching and Non-Teaching Personnel. On this last and longest working day of fiscal year 2020, let me give you some updates on the preparation for and processing of the 2020 Service Recognition Incentive three, for eligible permanent positions and the 2020 Gratuity Pay GP, for the contract of service and job orders. One Administrative Order AO, 37 on S.R.I. and AO38 on GP were officially released on December 21st and 28, respectively. The DBM budget circular on SRI was released on December 22nd. The FB page of the Department of Education under Secretary for Finance issued these AOs and DBMBC for dissemination of the information and for the concerned individuals to comprehend the provisions of the said administrative orders. Two, even if we want to immediately process and release the S.R.I. and GP, there are procedures that DEP Ed has to comply with before we can grant the said benefits slash incentives. Remember that DEP Ed is the biggest employer in the entire government slash bureaucracy and we are almost 1 million personnel in total now, extensively distributed to various schools, division, and regional offices, and the central office. 3 SRI and GP are both sourced from the available savings or balance of funds of the entire agency. Hence, for Department of Education S.R.I of 10,000 each, we need a total savings of 10 billion pesos to generate. Your finance offices, from various levels of governance such as school, division, regional and central offices, are working very hard to consolidate and identify more funding sources to reach this P10 billion fund balance. For coordination with DBM has been ongoing since the release of the S.R.I admin order and we thank the DBM for its support, coordination and cooperation to find ways for SRI to become a reality for all Department of Education employees. Several letters to extend special accommodation to Department of Education have been officially sent to DBM. Five, what we can do now in Department of Education is to use our remaining balances in the Personnel Services PS, and also request for realignment or modification of available MOOE funds for SRI. Once DBM approves our requests, Department of Education can obligate the PS fundings and pay for the uniform S.R.I pay next year, 2021. If the MOOE 2020 funds is extended for use until 2021, we can also use those funds for additional S.R.I until we reach the allowable 10,000 employee. Six, we cannot compare Department of Education to smaller agencies which can process and find funds for its smaller number of personnel. As Department of Education family, we need to comply with the provisions of the AO and collectively accept the intention that we need to uniformly give to all eligible personnel. Seven, we need your patience and understanding while we do the appropriate steps and processes. As Department of Education family, let us still be grateful for the unexpected benefits we receive and let us please apply our teachings to our learners which are values on professionalism, responsible social media practice, teamwork, and gratitude slash compassion for others. <laughs>